Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the submarine. And the submarine is the big problem in GTA Online. And y'all already know this, but the submarine is very toxic and it's very unfair how people use it because people can get cheap kills on you and there's nothing you can do about it. And you can't kill the person out of the submarine because when you blow it up, it doesn't count as a kill. And not to mention it takes like 20 missiles to blow it up. So even if you do blow it up, it doesn't count as a kill, and then the person can just spawn on the beach or wherever their submarine was at, and they can either EWA spam or teleport to your facility or wherever and get another one. And then you're back to square one. There's nothing you can do about it. And then you have to go and destroy it again. And most people, they use it with the yacht exploit. And the yacht exploit is where someone parks their yacht or their submarine the submarine they park it next to the yacht and it turns on yacht defenses and because the submarine is beside the yacht if you try to go take out the submarine either trying to stop it from killing you or to get revenge on it for killing you you can't take it out because of the yacht defenses and the yacht defenses are very stupid anyway and now it's even worse with the submarine so if someone really wants to, they can just sit in a submarine and get cheap, easy kills on you, and there's something you can do about it. It's pretty much worse than the orbital cannon, or just as bad as the orbital cannon, because the orbital cannon, you know, at least you can only fire it once every 48 minutes, but the submarine, you can fire it once every 30 seconds. And it's annoying as hell, because the orbital cannon, yeah, it kills you and all, but it doesn't show up on the kill feed as you being killed. But the submarine, you know, it looks to everybody else that you're being killed just casually. And you're not. You're being killed by, I mean, I almost want to call it next. I mean, it is an exploit if someone uses it with the yacht. I mean, a submarine is stupid anyway because you can't be killed out of the ship for one. And also, you can use it on anyone no matter where they are on the map. And even if someone's not using the yacht exploit, even if you do try to take it out, it takes like 20 plus missiles so unless you have a vehicle that has like good missiles and a ton of missiles you're not going to be able to easily take the thing out and like i said even if you did even if you do take it out it doesn't count as a kill and the way i think it should be i mean the thing shouldn't be in the game anyway i mean it's really retarded i mean it's more retarded than the orbital cannon in every way possible but here's how it should be if Rockstar plans to ever nerf it, I mean, I doubt they will, but here's how it should be. It should have a cooldown of 10 minutes, and you should only be able to fire it every 10 minutes. If you miss your shot one time, that should be the end of it. You shouldn't be able to keep trying like you can now. And how many times are you in a helicopter, and you're trying to have a dogfight with either Preston Mark IIs or other jets or even their helicopter, and someone in a submarine just hits you with the missile, and it makes your helicopter useless. In most vehicles, the thing even destroys. So you can be having a dogfight, and then all of a sudden, some noob in a submarine from halfway across the map comes and kills you for no reason. And it's bullshit. Because, for one, it ruins the dogfight, and two, it makes it to where you're not in a vehicle anymore, so you're just defenseless on the ground. So it ruins dogfights, it ruins 1v1s, and it's the biggest problem when you're on the ground, either having a 1v1 with someone or trying to get your vehicle back. Because it's very, very easy to shoot people on the ground. I mean, all they have to do is spam it at the road. I mean, it may be harder to kill someone in a vehicle with it, but if you're on the ground, someone can kill you if you with it. So what they should do, they should add the cooldown to it for one to make it to where you can only shoot it every 10 minutes and make it to where it has, you know, shorter range, you know, most vehicles only have, you know, certain range. Like, if you're in a vehicle, like a Deluxo or an Impressive Mark II, you know, it only gets lock on if the target gets close to you. So, if it gets close to you, then maybe you can be able to kill them. But if it doesn't, then you shouldn't be able to kill them whatsoever. And it should also count as a kill if you blow it up. And it takes at least 12 rockets to blow it up. And it should only take, like, free rockets to blow it up and it should count as a kill if you do blow it up so that way tryhards can't be unkillable in the thing and that's why a lot of people do that because it's armored 
and it doesn't count as a kill if you blow it up, and they can just teleport and spawn another one. And there's no cooldown on the missile spam. I mean, you may have to wait like 30 seconds, but that's nothing. And it's really a problem whenever people care about scores like I do, and people get cheap 1-0s on you with no skill required. And I don't even know the people who exist in the lobby because they're like halfway across the map from me and they're setting in a submarine and there's nothing I can do about it. So it's really unfair. I really hope Rockstar nerfs it and you're down bad as shit if you use a submarine and I hope you get banned from GTA Online if you use it. And anyway, that's all for the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.